out of growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus. Closing out a week that has seen more new COVID cases in America. And new cases hitting a record for the second straight day. More than, listen to this, 39,000 new Wisconsin infections. declaring a new public health emergency as the state sees a surge in cases among young people. 205,000 people died in the span of a few months. That's mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, children, and whole families gone. 205,000 died, but those deaths affect millions. Children motherless, wives widowed, brothers with siblings gone. Was this inevitable? No. Thousands of lives could have been saved if we all played our part. Wear a mask, social distance, stay at home. The mask can be irritating at times and not seeing loved ones is tough. But at this moment in time, we are more than individuals looking out for ourselves. We are a community that needs to protect one another because that's the only way we can make hope for a brighter and safer future. Like social distancing, like, it's not that big of a deal. Just stand six feet apart. The whole point of it is so that we can help fight the virus and help prevent the spread. Um, so, I mean, when we think about it like that, it's not that big of a deal for me to wear a mask and to help respect other people. But then the idea of contracting COVID is worse, so wear the mask. Uh, just suck it up and breathe through it. Um, um, it's really important to me that I protect my family members that are more vulnerable. So um, I, I think that's more important than, you know, me feeling like this is inconvenient or being tired of it. So I've really tried to not, again, dwell on that. Though we may not see the end of the tunnel, it's there. You may feel as if you're traveling alone down this path. Well, you're not. No matter how alone you may feel, how terrifying the future may look, we are traveling down this dark tunnel together, one act of compassion at a time. The whole point of us going through the measures that we are going through right now is so that we can get rid of this virus and we can conquer, and that we don't have to deal with negative effects long term. So to say that it's my right to not wear a mask, that's almost you being selfish. You know, you have the right to be stupid. You have the right to endanger yourself and put you and yourself at risk, but you're putting your family, your friends, you're putting other people at risk by not following the rules. Stop being selfish. Um, it's following directions, simple directions. I feel naked now if I don't have my mask and I go in any like public building or a grocery store or something like that, and there's people who are doing it. For you, the days may seem to grow harder and harder. It may feel as if time is slipping through the cracks and happiness and human connection have become a fleeting memory. I believe this is October 1st. Um, I would have been in, you know, on campus right now, you know, chilling with, um, with friends or, you know, doing assignments. But instead, I'm in my room in Antioch, California. So um, just be cautious of what you're doing and be, be respectful to, um, to what the CDC or like what our local officials have to say. You try to point out the facts and the evidence once they've made up their mind, it's like a one-way track. And that train's going 100 miles per hour and you can't slow it down. And it's disappointing. But, you know, you can try to convince people. Personally, I would just try to avoid them because I don't want to put myself at risk at the same time. But remember, DV, when we reach the end of this dark tunnel, the future will be beaming with all things you haven't been able to do. It will be a future where you'll be able to hug your friends and loved ones, rekindle connections in person, not through screens or windows, and you'll be able to live the life you thought was an echo of the past. It's not a joke. People have lost family members. People have lost siblings, friends, extended relatives. Just take it serious, social distance, wear your mask, follow all the guidelines, and we'll be eventually back to normal. Please continue to respect social distancing, wear a mask, um, and to be respectful to the frontline workers, especially. The only way that we can even consider that later down the road is if we continue to social distance, wear a mask, sanitize, all of that. Be well, be safe. Um, keep yourself healthy, you know, get good rest and be ready to come back when we get to come back. For the most part, you guys really impact the way things happen and the way your parents see things and the way um, your peers see things. So, you know, be careful, be cognizant of happening, be aware of your surroundings. You don't try to 
party or, you know, do things that cause you to be at risk to the virus. But, you know, just be safe. You know, it's real. You know, it's there. You know, you know, everything that that can be known about the virus, how we can be safe and the things that we can do to you know, make sure that our family is safe. It'll really go a long way. Just just keep doing what you've been doing. We got to take it one step at a time. You as DV students, you have to take it serious and show that you're mature enough to handle a opportunity to start getting back to normal. Don't make it all about you. Be mature, be smart, represent yourself and your community with respect and integrity. Stay strong and stay safe, DV. The future is counting on it. My name is Chinidu Uwo. Keith Galawango. Nahida Okogo. Christopher Framel. Ely Gofford. Mr. Mason. And I approve this message. Thank you for watching this Group 1 production.